Hi. Oh my goodness. Hello. It's so good to be here. Oh my gosh. I've just been traveling around so much and I'm just happy to be back in LA. It's, it's tough for me to travel so much just because I'm a mom. Yeah. Yeah. Come it up. Uh, I actually have two amazing cats. And, you know, I'll tell you, a single mom doing it on my own, you know? Uh, uh, it's tough because they're at that age. And, um, uh, and I just want to, you know, I want to tell them, hey, I do it for you. And they're like, well, who are you? <laughs> it is tough to be a cat mom. I don't know what it's like to be a mom of a human kid. I don't have any kids that I know of. <laughs> um, but they say that it's tough. They say that it's the hard, hardest job in the world, being a mom, right? Hardest job in the world. The easiest one to get. <laughs> long resume, but um, say it's tough. Uh, my, a lot of my friends are becoming parents now, which I think is kind of cool because it's like they made, they got together and made a new friend for me that's a lot less judgmental, you know. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> but I, I'm a feminist, uh, yeah, uh, no one's surprised. <laughs> I do, I do still take crap for it, though. Like, people be like, oh, you're a feminist. Does that mean you hate men? I'm like, no. I'm a feminist. That means men hate me. <laughs> it's a little confusing. I know. Such a weird idea, too, that, like, because I'm a feminist, I hate men. It's like, no. Like, I'm a feminist. Who happens to hate men? <laughs> it's not related at all, you know? And, like... I don't even hate all men, right? Like, hashtag, not all men. <laughs> just, like, I just, what I hate is toxic masculinity, right? Like, I don't like when men make me feel unsafe or, like, when they talk over me or when they, like, love Radiohead, you know? <laughs> Stuff like that. It's too much. You know? It's too much. Any dude feminists here? Any male feminists? All right, there you go. Great, you cracked the code. Nice. <laughs> So I'm always telling guys, like, do you believe in equality? Well, then just say you're a feminist, right? By the time I figure out you don't know exactly what it means, we've already boned, you know? <laughs> it's ridiculous. My, um, my last boyfriend was a feminist. Um, well, he was 25, so he's whatever I make him be. <laughs> and he, he loved that joke, because I, I told him to. Um, <laughs> Uh, he was really, he was really cute. He's a musician, which I'm sorry, musicians are hot. They are. It's I just I get really turned on by lending people money. <laughs> <laughs> now, I date younger guys a lot. Actually, we just we get along. We agree on a lot of things. Like should be hard stuff like that. <laughs> it works out. I think 25 was a little too young. And I remember the day I realized that, that we were just on different pages in the book of life. It's when a good friend of mine was um, going through depression and she's on medication now, but she was um, feeling suicidal. And I was really freaked out and my young boyfriend was trying to comfort me and he was like, God, Alice, I just don't know why anybody would ever want to kill themselves. And I was like, aw, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with it, champ, you know. <laughs> Keep sending out those demos. You'll get there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm a non-threatening male, as you know. I'm not the one. <laughs> Alice Wetterland, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll